All right, so today we're going to do a warm-up video. So this is a warm-up that any one of our gymnasts can use, and we recommend that you do this warm-up video before all of our other program videos. All right, so before we start, make sure you've got a nice clear space, no furniture in the way, and make sure you've got an adult present, so mum or dad or an, another adult in your family, to make sure you're being nice and safe when you do your home gymnastics workouts. All right, you won't need any equipment or anything else other than just your body for this warm-up. All right, so we're going to start with a little bit of cardio workout so that we can get our heart pumping, get our muscles nice and warm. All right, so we're going to start off with 30 seconds of jogging on the spot. Ready, set, go. That's it, keep going. All right, we're halfway. That's it, keep it up. Only 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, without stopping, 10 high knees. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good job, everyone. Next, we're going to do 10 jumping jacks, then straight away, 10 high knees again. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good job. Hopefully, we're starting to feel a little bit warmer. We're going to do another 30 seconds of jogging. 10 more high knees, and then we're going to do some stretching. All right, ready, set, go. That's it, keep it up. Nearly done, halfway through. That's it, keep going, keep going, keep going. And five, four, three, two, one, and ten high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good work, everyone. We all feeling nice and warmed up? Awesome. All right, we're going to follow me for some stretching. Starting with our arm circles. Stretching out nice and wide. And going the other way. All right. You're going to have one arm nice and straight across your body. And using your other hand to stretch your muscle across your body. Good job. And other arm nice and straight. Use your hand to stretch. All right, this time you're going to put one arm up next to your ear. Bend your arm down. Reach your hands down your back. And then use your other hand to pull your elbow. Good job. And now the other arm. Reach up. Bend down. And pull across. All right, good job. Sitting down on the floor now for the next few. We're gonna have our legs nice and straight out in front of us in our pike shape. Squeezing our knees, pointing our toes, reach up to the roof and stretch as far as you can. Try to walk your hands a little bit further out. And a little bit further. And coming up. This time we're going to do the same thing, but you're going to pull your toes up towards the roof. All right, we're flexing our toes. See if you can stretch down. And walk your fingers a little bit further. And walk them a little bit further. And coming out. All right, turning out into our straddle sit. 
Legs nice and wide apart. Make sure your knees stay pointing up to the roof. Okay, we're going to stretch both hands to one foot. And then stretch both hands to the other foot. And then see how far you can stretch down the middle. Excellent. All right, bring your legs together. Give them a bit of a shake. Shake the muscles out. All right, next one we're going to do is our seal stretch. We're stretching our tummy. Make sure you're trying to get your feet squeezing together behind you. And then we're going to go into our cat stretch. So we're going to push our shoulders down into the floor. Excellent. Give your arms a bit of a shake. Give your whole body a bit of a shake. Give everything a bit of a shake. And we're ready to start our gymnastics programs. Hope everyone's feeling nice and warmed up now, ready to do some gymnastics skills. Now for this next video, we're going to need a stick. So I've just got a little metal pole here, uh, but you might like to use a broomstick or any kind of stick you've got lying around, even if you go out into the backyard and find a tree branch, something small that you can hold on to. All right, today we're going to do some bars, beam and floor conditioning. Just some real basic things to get us back into the mindset of being in the gym. All right, so this video is aimed at our level five and six competitive girls. Okay, so if you're in gym star or ALP level five or six. All right, starting with some bars work. So we're just going to start with our standing arm raises, making sure we've got a nice rounded chest. We're gonna go fast up slow down. All right, 20 of those. Here we go. That's it, halfway. All right, good job. Next one, holding the pole out in front of you and we're going to do 10 little wrist rolls each way. So 10 rolling forwards and then 10 rolling backwards towards you. All right, good work. Next one, we're going to do five front support slide outs. So not going to need the pole for this one. If you've got a floor bar at home, then you can use that. Um, but for those of us that don't have a floor bar, we're just going to put it on the ground. We're going to start in our front support shape, sliding our toes all the way out until we land on the floor. Remember to keep nice controlled core and try and make the lower to the floor as silent as you can. All right, starting front support, sliding yourself out. All right, that's one. We've got four more. Okay, two more. One more. Make this one the slowest one if you can. Alrighty, good work. Next one, working our tummy muscles for our kips. You're going to be lying down your back. Grab your pole, and we're going to do some nice, fast, snappy leg raises, trying to get your toes all the way to the bar above your head on the ground. All right, we're going to do 10 of these. So lying down and snap up, and then slow down and fast up.
Okay, that's five. Five more. All right, one more. And snap. Good. All right, next one. We're going to do five kip drills, okay? So remember to try and stay as piked as you can the whole way through the drill. So starting lying on your back, lift your toes up, slide the pole up your legs, and up to your pike sit, all right? Now when I do my kip drills, I try to get my girls to let go of their pole and lean their shoulders forwards. All right, so this helps you to think about getting your chest and shoulders over the bar in your kip. So let's do four more. Okay, one more. All right, good, so that's our kip drills done. Next one, we're just going to do a little bit of conditioning. All right, so we're going to do dish hold, dish rocks, then arch hold and arch rocks. All right, we're going to do 20 of each. So 20 second hold and 20 rocks. Making sure we're holding the pole like we would be for our bars. So for dish, we're going to hold it down near our hips like we're doing our hip circles or clee circles. And then for our arch, we're going to hold it above our head, ready for our tap shape. So let's go. 20 second hold, ready, set, go. Halfway. And 20 rocks. That's 10. And 20. Roll over to arch. Lifting up nice and tall. And that's halfway. Three, two, one, and 20 rocks. Alrighty, so that's our bars conditioning done. Next up, we're going to do some beam work. All right, so we're going to keep hold of our pole for now. I've got a nice line on the floor here. So if you've got a beam at home, feel free to use that. Or you can just use a line marked out on the floor. All right, so to start with, we're just going to do some beam complex. So some walking and controlled skills. Nice presentation arms. Ready for forwards walking. Up on releve with nice tight knees. We're going to do 20 steps, which for me is two laps of the beam. Let's go. So turn if you need to. And done. Next, 20 steps backwards. Turn around if you need to. All right, and 20 steps sideways. We're gonna do 10 each way. All right, 
next up, moving to our passe walking. All right, so remember for passe, you need toe to knee and lifting your front knee up nice and high. Still having our arms in present, we're going to do 10 passe steps forwards. Try to tap your toe before you step. Alright, good job. Next one, you're not going to need your pole. We're going to do a little bit of crawling. Now, they may seem a little bit silly, crawling on the beam. But we need to make sure we're controlling our core muscles. Alright, and staying in a nice straight line. So we're going to do 10 crawling steps forwards. Then we're going to do 10 backwards. Make sure you're squeezing all your muscles so that you stay on your beam or your line. Especially when we're going backwards. It's important to keep your tummy switched on. All right, and next one, we're not going to need our pole either. We're going to do some uh, bunny hop shuffles. Okay, so you're going to have your feet on the beam and your hands on the beam. And you're going to go bunny hop forwards so that we're moving forwards with each hop. Turn around if you need to. Alright, so make sure you've done your 10 forward bunny hops. Okay, picking up your pole again, we're moving on to some step kicks. So we're going to do 10 forwards. 10 backwards and 10 side. All right, then backwards. Remember to turn if you need to. side. Alrighty, good work. We're not going to need our holes anymore. So you can pop those away. We're going to do five half turns on two feet. See if you can do them all in a row without coming down off your toes. So arms, nice presentation behind you, up on your toes. Try to turn five times without coming down. So you need to be controlling all of your muscles really tight. All right, good work. Next up, we're going to do some half turns on one foot. So you're going to see if you can go half turn, half turn, and then releve position to finish. We're going to do that twice. So see if you can control it, half turn, and finish in releve. All right, give that one more go. You might need to try with socks, without socks. See what works on the surface that you're working with. All right, and next one, we're going to have a go at doing three full turns on one foot. Again, have a play around with your, your socks. Um, it's quite slippery for me here. But remember, we need to be making sure we're stretching really tall, keeping our arms up nice and high and our cores switched on. Okay, try to do two more. See if you can land them on the beam. All right, now some of you may have learnt your full turns without the lunge at the start. That's fine. Just do them whichever way your coach has taught you to do them. All right. Good work, everyone. Next one, we're going to do 
five straight jumps, and then five tuck jumps on the beam. All right? Remember one foot in front of the other, hold your motorbike landing shapes. And five tuck jumps. All right, good work, everyone. And the last one that we're going to do is just have a go at three scorpion kicks. All right, if you'd like to, you can do bunny hops instead. Or if you're up to it, you can do your full handstand. So just three of these ones. All right, and that's all of our beam stuff done. Now moving on to a quick floor conditioning circuit. All right, so we're going to start with dish, and then dish rocks, then arch and arch rocks, and then we're going to do our front support, side support, back support, and side support. And then we're going to have a go at some different presses. All right, getting ready. We're going to do 15 seconds of each one. So here we go. Ready for dish. In five, four, three, two, one, go. So for floor, we're going to put our arms up. But if you're a bit too tired, you can put your arms down by your sides if you need to. Getting ready for dish rocks and go. Five more seconds and arch. Holding it up nice and high. Trying to lift your arms and legs as high as you can off the floor. Keep it going. We've got five more seconds of arch. Here we go. And now rocking. Five more seconds. All right. Push yourself up into your front support shape. And holding your front support. Five more seconds. Doing really well. Keep pushing strong. Side support. Getting ready for rear support in five, four, three, two, one. Holding your back support here. Making sure you're lifting your hips up. And five, four, three, two, one. And we're in the other side support. Doing really well, we're nearly done. Five, four, three, two, one. Alrighty, for the next three, what I want you to do is just have a go at holding these for as long as you can, all right? So the first one, you're going to be sitting in your L shape, hands down on the ground. You're going to see if you can lift your bottom and your feet off the floor, okay? So see if you can hold it like this. All right, give that a go. See how long you can hold it for. And same in your straddle. You're going to have your hands in front of you between your legs. See if you can push yourself up. Ooh, it's pretty tricky. And then down. And then the last one, we're going to try and see if we can do tuck V hold. All right? Now, if you're a superstar and you can do V hold with your legs straight, that's amazing and that's better than what I can do. So we're all going to try tuck V. And if you're a superstar, you can do straight leg V. See if you can lift your bottom off the floor. It's really hard. I can't even do it. All right. So give those ones a go. See how you go with that. 
All right, we're going to do our cool down next. So I hope you all had a good time working on some bars, beam, and floor basics. All right, so this video is going to be just a general cool down. So hopefully you've had a lot of fun doing your uh, general gymnastics at home workout today. So we're just going to do a couple of stretches just to finish off. All right, so just going to loosen up the shoulders. A few forwards, a few backwards. All right, a couple of arm circles. Just trying to slowly lower our heart rate, keeping the movement going as we settle ourselves down. Just some slight neck movements. Don't stretch yourself too far. And looking to each side. All right, we're gonna do just a light twist. Loosening off our back after we've done all of that conditioning. All right, good. Give yourself just a bit of a shake out. Shake all your muscles, all your legs, arms, everything. All right, just a couple more stretches to finish off. We'll do a seal stretch. Good, you can put your head back to this one. Just relax into it a little. And our cat stretch, pushing our shoulders to the floor. Good. So you should feel your heart rate starting to go down now. Starting to cool down the muscles. Do a pike stretch. Stretch out those hamstrings. And a straddle stretch, reaching down the middle. Don't worry about stretching too far on these ones. But you might find, now that you're nice and warmed up, that you can stretch a little bit further than you did in the warm-up. We're going to do our butterfly. Use your elbows to push your knees down towards the floor. All right, and... Finishing off with just a little twist. To each side. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed all your workouts today and we're looking forward to seeing you again.